What is jailbreak? In tech, jailbreak means getting full access to your phone. For iPhone or iPad, this allows you to install any app you want without going through Apple's App Store. In a regular computer, users are separated by accounts. Each user has a certain permission restriction. For example, a regular user cannot change the passwords of other users. Also, he or she cannot change the system files. There is a special admin account. This user is the queen. It has the ability to do anything and everything on a computer. It can install any application. It can delete any files and any applications. Your iPhone is just a mini computer. Similar to a regular computer, your phone has a CPU, memory, and operating systems. The difference is that your iPhone has a GSM module that allows you to make and receive phone calls. Similarly, an iPhone also has a user account concept. When you are using the iPhone, you are using a regular user account. It allows you to open the app that you downloaded, make phone calls, and send text messages. However, the regular user account does not allow you to install arbitrary app that you found on the internet. To install any app, you need to go through Apple's App Store. Apple does this to ensure that every app that appears on your phone complies with its policy. Sometimes, the policy is well-intentioned. For example, the app should not contain any viruses, the app should not secretly record your conversation. Other times, the policy can seem random. For example, some app may be available in one country but not the other. Regardless of the reason, Apple has full control over the apps that you can download. Jailbreaking means upgrading your user account to have more privileges on your phone. Once you do that, you can install any app on your phone without going through App Store. This includes downloading free copies of games such as Plants vs. Zombie or MyWi, which is an app that allows you to do tethering. Jailbreak allows you to unlock your phone. When you buy an iPhone from a carrier like Verizon, they will lock your phone with its network. You can take a lock phone to T-Mobile and use it. However, once you have full admin access to your phone, you can override this lock. Jailbreak also allows you to do much more customizations to your phone. For example, Dreamboard allows you to customize your iPhone to make it look like a Windows phone or an Android phone. In general, you are no longer limited by Apple's restrictions. To jailbreak, very smart people have figured out the vulnerabilities of the phone and created utilities and packages to do this. End users like us just need to follow their instructions. I will add them to the description. However, there are some risks to jailbreak your phone. The apps that you download from Cydia may contain viruses. This means the app may be doing things that you do not want, such as turning on camera or microphone without you knowing. The jailbreak provider also has the ability to implant virus onto your phone. Remember that jailbreak is inherently getting full control of the phone. It is in theory possible for jailbreak provider to install a backdoor along with the jailbreak kit. Lastly, Apple mentioned that jailbreak will void the warranty of your phone. However, it is unclear how this can be enforced. Is it actually legal to jailbreak your phone? It really depends on the country and it is constantly changing. In the US, it is legal as of 2019. However, it was technically illegal before 2010. To summarize, jailbreak means getting full admin access to your phone. As a result, you can install any app without going through Apple's App Store. In addition, you can also unlock your phone so you will not be locked to a single provider. Jailbreak can have its risk of downloading a virus and voiding your warranty. But jailbreak is legal to do, at least in the US. Thanks for watching. Remember, don't procrastinate.